It says UFC's Jeff Molina suspended oh. for alleged substantial involvement in ongoing James Krause investigation. Substantial. Yeah, they, he was on. Uh, I've heard a thing that he was on uh, his Discord, and he said that like Jeff Molina said that like, you know, I paid my my mortgage, my house, my my phone bill, everything with this Discord right here. Make sure you guys join it. So. Like he was pushing it hard, so I'm sure you know he's, uh, he was under Kraus. So his Discord was they is that something that they were using for gambling? Yeah, I think somebody was telling Jamie, me that they you, had. You know, you're aware of this, right? Yeah, I know James got a big smile. <laughs> what do you know? Uh, what I heard, this is what I heard. There was up to uh, two thousand people using that Discord for gambling information, mm. and most of it was probably MMA stuff. Probably all sorts of sports were being talked about. Uh, but one fight in particular, the the line changed right before the fight from like. I think the favorite was like maybe minus two twenty or something like that to then like negative four fifty, which is a four to one favorite. Mm. And more specifically, it was like uh, of a KO in the first round, and it happened in like forty eight seconds. Or something. Uh, and that fighter had never been KO'd or something too, is what I was hearing. So but people knew that there was an injury, and they were letting people know that there was an injury, so right. that affected the gambling line. And then they traced that shit back to find out. Well, they fucked that. everybody because now you can't bet on yourself. Like yeah. if you want, if you fought Hamza, and you're like, "Fuck, I'm putting a hundred grand on myself." Yeah, that's that's cool. Yeah, there's you a lot of fighters that do that. You should be able to gamble on yourself. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna gamble, at yeah. least. But now I don't think fighters are able to gamble even on like football or basketball or anything. Oh, like that's DraftKings or something. Uh, we haven't tweeted out. Like, that's I can't even get on DraftKings. Terrible. Kings. That's terrible. You guys fucked us. Freaking Kraus, man. I, when he, he was on Air Hawaii before and he said he makes more money gambling than he did fighting. And oh, no. I think that like triggered everybody. Like, Wait a minute. Let me oh, check what no. you do. And I met a couple of guys in Vegas and they were like talking about the situation. And uh, he was telling me, like, one guy was like, oh, yeah, you know, I make like. Five hundred thousand uh, dollars each UFC fight, and I'm like, really? He's like, yeah. What? He's like, there's fights that are the line still out there even after the fight's done. So the fight will happen. He knows who won and how they won, and then they, the, some of the casinos will still have the line up. What? Yeah, and he's no. like, he'll go bet the house on it, and I'm like, you're lying. He's like, bro, I'll show you my bank account. Like, this is what wait I do. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's gambling after the fight is concluded. Yeah, that's insane. That's what I was like. That can't be true. He's like, bro. There's casinos. I'll look for the casino that has it. He said, all I do is gamble. And that's what I do. And I'll wait for the fight will be finished. And they'll still have the line up. And I'll go into the casino, put the bet on there. That makes no sense. That yeah. seems like the casino should be able to get their money back. Like, it's already concluded. I don't know if I'm snitching on them or not, but, yeah, that's crazy. I think, when I, heard I think you might be snitching. <laughs> no, no names were said, right? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hear any names. I heard no names. Yeah, but I, I feel like you should be able to gamble. You de you definitely should be able to gamble on your fighter. And you definitely should be able to gamble on yourself. As long as you're not gambling for someone to lose, and if there's a situation like this where it shows that someone is either taking a dive or the coach lets everybody know, hey, this guy's injured, you know, bet on the other dude, that kind of shit you really should be banned for. Yeah. And you shouldn't, I mean, I don't know what Kraus actually did and what actually is going to happen to him, but that makes me upset. That's bi that's terrible shit. That's terrible. For especially you ruined it for all these guys that like if you wanted to fight Hamza and you wanted to bet 100 grand on yourself or you wanted to bet on yourself against Colby, like yeah. you should be able to do that. Yeah. That's, that's a fun storyline. I want to talk about exactly. that. Exactly. You have confidence in yourself yes. that much and and doing commentary, I want to be able to bring it up. Yeah. Like this be cool. is how much he believe, believes in himself. He put 100 grand on himself. Yeah, but now you can't even do that. Yeah. Check this out. This is a, the the company that found this is called US Integrity. Hmm. They found it. I think this would be the PFL event. It says uh, they showed fights that were taped a month ahead of time and aired them as though they were live. No. <laughs> yeah. And he people gambled on I them. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, that's so stupid. <sighs> this was one of the ones that he was telling me about too. He said that. He, like Kraus put it on his Discord that he, they knew all the results from the. Oh from my this fight. god! That's wild. That is so dumb. <laughs> yeah, that's, they had all the results. He <laughs> said so pushy. He was like, you know, I made like two hundred thousand, but I know guys that made like eight hundred thousand off of that, and it was oh like my the, god, you're it going was to jail, bitch. Professional <laughs> Fighters League Challenge Series, and I was like, what? It is like that's yeah, like so they, dumb. They didn't play the results, but like people that were in the crowd, hey, they were like, we were getting texts like, hey, I was in the crowd, I know who won, won, you won all these things, give me fifty <gasps> grand, and I'm like. That's insane. I yeah. can't believe that's real. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh, my God. That's so unsophisticated. Like, how the fuck did they not know that the fights already took place when they have a line on it? That's so crazy. Yeah, but, I mean, I think that's another issue, too, with, like, the, the UFC PI, where you see guys fight week, 
random guys are walking in and if they see somebody getting worked on who's fighting and they right. see oh he's getting his ankle worked on mm -hmm. so you're like go back oh i think something's wrong with his ankle or something's wrong with yeah i'd heard back, about like, tj dillshaw's shoulder before that fight oh did you yeah before he fought aljermaine yeah i'd heard about his shoulder i knew his shoulder was fucked already because i knew that he had been getting stem cells he had gone down to neil dr neil reardon who's a stem cell uh guy he has a, a clinic down in panama and he was going down to panama to get shoulder uh stem cells during camp yeah, this was quite a while ago, though. This is before he got popped for EPO, oh. before he fought um, Henry, Henry Cejudo. And so he has like some pretty substantial tears to his shoulders. His shoulders are pretty fucked. They're pretty fucked. Like, he, I, I think his supraspinatus is completely torn off on both shoulders. It's not good. <sighs> yeah. And stem cells could fix that, or? Not really. 